Hello, it's Patrick, and welcome back to um, this Minecraft Titanic interior tutorial. Um, yet again, uh, just starting out. Um, this exterior here is done by Rich LaRousse, except for um, the windows in the black section and a few changes in the windows on A, B, C deck, uh, so on and so forth. But uh, anyways, let's just get into it. And starting off, um, we're going to have to make a few changes to, um, to first the boat deck and then the A deck. Um, you can see that uh, the layout of the, uh, the windows are different. It's uh, 2 and then 3, and then 3 and then 2, going from left to right, or both ways. And then on the boat deck, we're going to have um, this change here. Get rid of these real quick. Um, we have now a one width staircase, and the reason that this is how it is now is because um, uh, the uh, the staircase um, it used to be too wide from here going inward one. That and those were the invisible blocks up there. Um, it used to stand right there, but I'm a uh, I moved uh, this entire wall here up to this corner here. Hold on, let me let me make sure that y'all can see. Up to this corner here is where I moved it, and you just move it out one. And that's one of the nifty things that you can use um, World Edit for. Um, for example, um, uh, the, uh, the, this corner right here used to be here, so what you do is, well, first you'd go inside, and, uh, Click this corner down here, and you see that big sentence in the bottom, that's for your first position. And then, sorry for the lag, you'd go all of the way up here, and click this top block in the corner, 80 blocks down there, as it says on that pink sentence in the bottom. And then you'd move it over one, or actually no, first you'd copy it, and then you'd set zero, and then you would move over one, and then you'd paste, and then you'd fill in the block gaps. So anyways, that's how you do that on either side. And then I think it's kind of self-explanatory how to do the rest now. Is just make a one block wide staircase going all the way down to B deck. And then um, the window textures on here are different as well. The pattern and such, there's that little wooden and uh, gold or brass part down there on the bottom too. Um, because um, I am uh, I tried to do um, the li the uh, the little tiles and um, uh, that um, uh, got rid of all the chisels and bits because I had to make room. Um, but anyways, um, that didn't quite work how I wanted it to, or I didn't quite understand it. So I just switched it back to uh, the chisels and bits, and that's where we are now. All right, anyways, the second change is over here. See, now it's a one block gap here, and I don't quite think that that's historically accurate, but you need to um, make sure that this is over to where it needs to be. So... Um, 
basically what you do is you get this wall that should be overhanging one on your part and then you copy and paste that or you copy that set zero and then move back one and then paste and then the same for this wall that should be hanging over one and then you just move that all the way back until there's a one block gap and then once you're finished with that you should have just this little weather cover which is where the uh, aft grand staircase dome will be seated um, and then you're just going to want to um, copy that and then set zero and then move it back until you have just this little square here and that should sit up against there and that's that and now the third change is this second glass uh, the second class staircase and um, this is actually all the work. Um, just a heads up and such. Um, but you're going to want to move this back a few. And then this is going to be decreased to four on the wood and then one quartz. And then there's going to be a one block gap in between there. And then this vent here is going to be moved over one, two, three. And then you should have one, two, three, four, 14 on the wood, and then quartz hanging off the back there. Um, anyways, that's how that is supposed to be now. Um, and yeah, anyways, let's get on to the main part here. Let's just go into the grand staircase. And as you can see, I've started um, modeling the grand staircase in here as well. And I've got some doors there as well. Sorry for the lag. And the space for the dome and the staircase and other holes for stairs and such. But anyways, we're focusing on a deck today. So once you have all the both of the side walls moved in, um, you're going to want to I think we did the lifts in the in the last one but I'm just going to do them over again just to make sure um, for the lifts you're going to have um, on this wall here um, you're going to go in one and then back four back toward the stern um, you're going to go back one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, you're going to want to place quartz there, and then that's going to be a row of three, and then build that area up to the height of the deck. And then you're going to do the same thing um, on the third block over, and then the same on the fourth block over, and then the same on the other side. So you see here that um, uh, the lifts aren't exactly symmetrical, but that's just how I had to do it in order for this to be somewhat historically accurate. Um, I just heard strange noises. Um, anyways, um, on, uh, on this corner here, you're just going to want to build a line across there for the arches. And those are the lifts. And then this whole space here, this whole space here is just going to be the yellow terracotta. And I've started modeling the D deck reception area too, but that will come on another date. And the B deck area too. Um, um, but, anyways, that's that. And then. On your sidewalls there, here and here, you're going to want to go into this back corner here. Excuse me. And then you're going to want to build, from, from the side, you're going to want to go one, two, three, forward from that back wall. 
from the corner of that back wall, and then you're going to want one, two, three out, and then build that up to the height of the deck, and then one, two, three back, and a doorway in the middle there. And then you're going to want to put a door frame there, and then you're going to want a space of four in the middle there, because this should now be a square. There should be a window right in front of this door, and then turning right, there should be a door all the way over to this wall. And that's that. So there's that little section there. Um, yeah, we did the windows on this section here. So, on this section here, I'm sorry this is very unorganized, but I'm, uh, I, I'm trying. <laughs> um, uh, this, on this wall, you're gonna have one block, and then a window, and then two, and then a window, and then two, and then a door, and then two, and then a window, and then two, and then a window, which is where that little entrance there is. And then this wall is going to be blank. Then you're going to want four, window, three, window, three, window, three, window, four, window, three, window, three, window, three, window, and then you're going to want four on the back, so that's about the same as the other side. And then these windows are different um, because of how the whole layout of the reading, writing room, and the lounge is. And there's more parts of that there as well. Go over that in a minute. But now we're going to move on to these supports. So from the aft section on this wall where these big windows are starting from the forward section. You're going to want to come out to uh, the right side looking forward. Um, you're going to want to go out one, two, and then you're going to want to go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on this eighth block here, you're going to want to put a pillar of four, and then three, and then a pillar, and then three, and then a pillar. And then three, and then a pillar, three, pillar, three, pillar, three, pillar, and then you should have a one, two, three, four, five, six block gap between this wall and there. And that's how you do those pillars. And then uh, it's the same window situation on this wall. And then for the pillars over here, or for the windows on this wall, there's no windows on that wall over there, but there are on this wall. So after the door frame here, you're going to want two and then a window, two window, and then two on the end there. So that's all nice squared off and even. And then for the pillars there supports, you're going to want from the door frame on this block here, you're going to want to go one two, three, four, five, and then put a pillar, and then four, and a pillar, and then you should have five. And that's that. So, moving on. This is, this is all we're going to be doing today, is filling in walls and such. But I'm, uh, from, uh, let's see, hold on. Is I don't want to do that. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So on this wall here, you're going to want to build out a wall of 11 toward this side of the grand staircase on the right side looking forward to the left side looking back. Then you should have a two block gap for a hallway here. And then from the inside on this hallway on this corner block, you're going to want to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a window, and then three, and then a window, 
three window. Oh, we already did those, didn't we? Never mind. Um, but um, starting back over again at the um, at, at the grand staircase area. From this wall, starting on this block here, you're going to want a wall of one. of 26. You're going to want a wall of 26 going back. Then there's going to be a door frame here. This is the entrance to the reading and writing room. Ra ra siskumba, that'll be later. And then that's one space door frame. And then you're going to wall of 12 going back. And then to that side over there. And this is looking forward. You're going to want a wall of 19. And then you're going to build that up into a little rectangle boxy shape to this point here with a two wide hallway. And that'll be that. Alright, so now um, is the tricky part is uh, windows. Or at least, no, wait a minute. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this wall out of the way. And this is where your second funnel is. Or, uh, casing, second funnel and such. Um, but this is looking at the door frame to the rating and writing room from the inside of where it will be. Um, you're going to want to go left to... And then on that block there, this block here, you're going to want to build in quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then up to the height of that quartz section there. And if that isn't even, um, just move that little section there over so it will be flush and even with the pillar where it will be because trust me that pillar is in the is in the right spot and then from that pillar going forward you're gonna want one two three four five six seven and then you're gonna want to go up again excuse me for a moment all right so where your wall ends on this wall right here this is on the left side of the ship now you're going to want two from this wall, so that wall will now be three in its entirety, including that block there. That's going to be three now, but with that block in front of it, it's going to be two. And then there's going to be a four wide window, and then that's going to be four high, and then it's going to be the two in the middle of the four, or the sixteen up there on the top that'll emerge out on boat deck and then it's going to be two on the other side and then coming back in you're going to want two and then the same kind of window and then you're going to want three and then going out you're going to want to go diagonal one and then place the two blocks there and then a window going all the way up and then oh, wait a minute uh, let's see how can I work this differently um, on that first block that you placed, this one right here, you're going to want a pillar going all the way up in quartz, and then going back directly, you're going to want another piece of quartz, and then a glass window going all the way up, and then you're going to want to go out diagonal again, and then that wall will be seven back. Then in the middle of that, you're going to want a three wide window by four with the one in the middle at the very top. And then it's the same pattern here, typically. Or, hold on. At the end of this seven, you're going to want to come back in by one and then place a block. And then you're going to want to go all the way up. And then that wall is going to be three back and then these two are going to be filled in. 
and then there's a wall here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's how that's supposed to be. All right. All right, and that's the whole of the reading and writing room. So now you can fill the outer walls in using quartz with your set quartz tool or your world edit tool. I'm going to need to get a different computer by the end of this if this is how it's going to be so far. But I'm uh it's just going to have to be how it's going to be. Um, yeah. Uh, this and, Alright, then that's the reading and writing room. This big old space here. And we'll get into finer detail and such later on, but, um, uh, yeah, that's how that's supposed to be. Then you can put a door here if you want to, and there is supposed to be, um, a revolving doorway here somewhere, but I don't want to put that in now. I'll put that in at a later date. And then you've got this big hole here. And you're just going to fill that in with the same material. Alright, then that's how that's supposed to be. So now we've got this big, long, spacious hallway. And then this big area here with all these bigger windows. That is all the lounge. So... Looking forward on this hallway, you're going to want to go left to the wall with the windows. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, oops. So there's the four, and then you're going to want to add another one. Four. So that'll be five now from that window. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to want to go in. This will be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there should be an eighth on the end there. So this whole wall here should be eight. And then directly from this wall going toward the stern, you're going to want a wall of one, two, three, four, five. And then on top of that, you're going to want, from the same starting point, you're going to want one, two, three, four in glass, and then one in quartz, and then that's the same style window as the ones that we covered in there earlier. And then you're going to want to go diagonal one with a quartz on the bottom, and then a window all the way up. And then diagonal again, and you're going to want to go straight back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then... There's going to be a pillar of quartz on either end of the seven, and then straight up the middle after three on either side. And then in between those pillars, you're going to want to just fill in glass, and that's that. Then back in diagonal one, there's a quartz on the bottom and then a window, and then a pillar of quartz diagonal in one again, just, just a solid pillar quartz. And then diagonal out, one quartz on the bottom, and then all the way up is glass. And then it's basically the same pattern from this window over here to this here. You're just going to want to copy that and then paste if you want, or just redo the whole thing by hand. And then after you get to this point here, on this single pillar of glass and quartz, Gonna want to go in one, and then you're gonna want to go back one, two, three, four, five to make a wall. 
that connects there. And then in the middle of that, you're going to want a window three wide by four, and then one in, on the top there. Then that's the windows on that side. Now there's the windows on here. But it's, it's typically the same thing. Uh, let me just check to be sure. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, except for this window here is replaced with a three wide window over here. Hold on, excuse me for a second. All right, then there's that. Then you should have a, a, um, a, a two high pillar of quartz from the ceiling here, and then from those corners, you're just going to want to build down to the deck level, and then down to the deck level again on each of the corners here. It's going to be four corners, so that'll make a rectangle, and that'll be that. And from this corner here, on this side, on the starboard side of the ship, the right side if you're looking forward, and the left, and the port side if you're looking to the stern, on the left. Um, from this wall here, you're going to want to build out three, and then you're going to want to skip one, and then there's going to be that pillar. And then you're just going to fill in that wall there. And you've got that wall there. And then you're just going to want to fill in all this. All of this here. Quartz. Right, I'm going to do that first. And I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, um, so on now the port side, um, you're going to have, from the end of these windows here, you're going to have a wall of one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're going to want to skip two, because that's going to be a hallway, and then you're going to have two again, and then that's going to be on that second block there, that's going to be that pillar in the corner. And then you're just going to want to fill that space in, like that. And then that is like that. And you're just going to want to make that three high because it doesn't need to be exponentially large like this one over here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to fill that in like that. Yeah, so there's the uh, big old lounge space, and there's going to be a big light fixture there in the middle, and that, I think, is supposed to be a bookcase. I don't have deck plans open right now, and I don't want to have to go through the trouble of pulling them up again like I did in the last video. I think we all know how that went. Um... Anyways, that's how that is supposed to be. And then you're going to have a hallway here. And then this is the door frame. And it's going to be a wall. From that pillar there, it's going to be a wall of, of 30. And you're... And that um, line there, if you make a pillar at the end of that line there, it should line up with the uh, the quartz edge of the dome there, or the weather cover. And then you're just going to want to fill that wall in all the way to that upper deck there. And then you've got this here. Oh, and
and then we have this wall. Oh, and then we've also got these cloak rooms. Ugh, golly. Okay. Alright, so, on the exterior, on the port side of the ship, if you look forward, on the starboard, if you look to the stern, which is the right, you've got this three wide window here, and then you're going to want to skip one, two, and then you're going to want a line of one, seven. Then you're going to want to build that up. Then going inward again, you're going to want that's going to be a wall of two, and then a door frame, and then a wall of three. And then you're going to fill that in, and that is a cloakroom. And then right after that, on the exterior of that room, you're going to want a window right after it. Then two, and then a window, and then two, and then a door frame. And then three, and then a window, three, window, three, window, and then you're going to have two on the end there. Good lord, this is a lot of talking. And then on this wall here, you're going to want to skip one, then there's a window, and then the rest is a wall. Alright, and on the wall with just the one window, for these pillars here, you're going to want to go forward, or you're going to want to go in one from the end. And then you're going to want to skip two, and then a pillar, three pillar, two pillar, one pillar, three pillar, three pillar, and then that is all there is, and then there should be a diagonal block of one connecting to the pair. And then that's that. And... That's all we're going to cover for outside of the moment. Alright... So, back to this wall of 30. Looking forward, you're going to want to go to the right, and you're going to want to place as you go. You're going to want one more, or, um, apart from this block here, you're going to want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There should be a two block gap there now, and then you're going to want to go forward one and then you're going to want to connect to this wall here and then after this wall there's a window there and then the rest of the wall just like the other side actually it's exactly the same copy as the other side yeah that's how that is okay and then you're just going to want to fill this wall in in that pattern and then that's how that is supposed to be so this is all coming along very quickly uh, in my opinion but I'm uh, going back outside oh excuse me a moment It's the same thing for the cloakroom on this side um, from this wall here it's a row of four and then going in it's a door frame and then three but the only real difference here is the placement of windows on this wall so on this wall here, you're going to want a space of one, and then you're going to want a window, and then three, window, three, door frame, three, window, three, window, three, um, door frame, and then two you're going to have on the end. And then right immediately you're going to have a window there, and then the rest is wall. And then from this back wall here, you're going to... You're going to go in one, and then on the wood, you're going to count back three, and then on that fourth block, you're going to want to build a pillar, 
then you're going to have a space of three and a pillar three pillar one pillar three pillar three pillar then you should have a space of two here on the forward section Whew. oh boy i went in the wrong door And we'll cover this big section here at a later date. So don't worry about that being empty. Alright. So. I need to go back outside. So on this side. Or on this wall here on either side. It doesn't matter which one. From the forward, you're going to want to go back two, and then you're going to have a window, and then four, and then a window, and then you're going to have two on the end. Then you're going to go in three, including that corner block that you can't see. And then two, and then a window, and then two, and then a door frame, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of just wall. Um, so that's the same on either side so go ahead and do that real quick while well, you still can and we're moving on so on the inside from this door frame on either side you want to go back three and then on that third block you're going to want to build across from one side to the other and then you're just going to want to build that all the way up. We'll do that from this side. Do that real quick. And then that is the area of the aft grand staircase. So yeah, it's a fairly large space, but um, uh, we don't have... The, uh, the cabins here yet. Um, we'll cover those at a later date too. Um, don't remember which one is which, but I know that these cabins at once housed um, Father Brown and Thomas Andrews. Father Brown, um, uh, he was uh, aboard the Titanic, um, but she did. Um, he didn't. Um, uh, he didn't uh, do the transatlantic crossing, um, but he took several um, photographs, including um, the one of the uh, the boy playing with the top at the aft there. Uh, but that's a little um, biography there. All right. Now, this big area here up to here on this wall up to there all of that is the first class smoking room and smoking is a nasty habit don't do it kids um uh, anyways that this is all the smoking room where the gentleman would uh, come after uh, dinner to um uh smoke and gamble and drink and all that stuff um please don't do any of that stuff. It's horrible in my opinion. Um, but um, uh, anyways, that's a little synopsis or a lecture on this area here. All right. So on this wall that was going all the way across from the starboard side, and we're looking forward now, so the right side, you're going to have this wall here. Then you're going to want to go in one, two, three, if I'll move, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on that ninth block, you're going to want to build back. Let me just measure. You're going to want to build back 17. And then from this corner, you're going to want to build 14. That is the length of the whole wall, but... Um, excluding this corner here, you're going to want to build 13 to the left. 
and then you're going to want to build all the way forward from that corner which should be 16 blocks and then this this should be a symmetrical wall so just build this entire area here up to the ceiling And then this section here, and that section there. Oh. And do that there. And then there should be a little dip here, but that's okay. Just fill in the top here with quartz around the top of that wall. All right, there's that. So we're on the left side of the ship now, if you're looking forward, on the right if you're looking back. So on this wall of what should be 9, you're going to want to go to the left of that if you're looking forward. And then you're going to want, on the very end there, there should be a wall of 4, and then diagonal there should be 1, and then... Diagonal again, there should be a wall of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it's the same going back in as one diagonal and then a wall of four. And then there's going to be a line of four toward the middle on that fifth block. And then there should be another four. And then another diagonal out one. And then another line of eight if you go diagonal one from that block going all the way back then back in there's going to be one and then or on a diagonal and then there's going to be a diagonal and then diagonal one and then add three all the way back so that wall there should be four and then and then there's another line going across to that wall there and it is exactly the same on the other side for windows on this on these sections it's gonna be whew, it's gonna be on this one diagonal there's gonna be a window of two there and then on this wall of eight there's gonna be two windows um, one from this pillar here right there and then a two block gap and then a window there and then one and then back in on the diagonal there's gonna be one and then it's the same there, and it's the same on the other side. So, yeah, there's the smoking room. Let's just fill these in here. And these, uh, these are going to be custom windows, but you can fill them in with um, what you want to glass or stained glass or whatever you have now. Um, that's how that's supposed to be. Anyways, and on this line spanning the ship, you're going to want to go in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then on the 10th, you're going to want to build a pillar up, and then there should be a gap of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then another pillar, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There should be a gap of 9 there. And if I'm seeing things correctly, that should be symmetrical. So that's how that's supposed to be. And then you're just going to build that up there. Actually, no. 
let's uh, take care of this little section here with the second class staircase. Um, on both of these pillars, you're going to want to build back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then on the eleventh, you're going to want to build a pillar, and then there should be a gap, and then another pillar, and then still going back, you're going to want four, and then there should be that back wall there. But on, and that's the same on either side, and th this is the same on either side as well. Um, you're going to want to go out from this second pillar here. You're going to want to go out two, and then there should be another wall of two, and then you're going to want to skip two for a door, and then a pillar, and then a door, and then there should be that wall there. That's how that's supposed to be, and that's on both sides. Alright. And then, center portion looking forward in between these two pillars. You want a gap on the wood going back one, two, three, four, a gap of four. And then there should be a gap of a three by three. For the elevator and that's the same on here and that should line up with this here if you don't have a hole here on boat deck go ahead and put that in along with this one um but that's how that's supposed to be that's going to be a lift um, uh, and that's the second class staircase And that's pretty much the tutorial, except for um, the windows on the side there. So, wait a minute, let me just undo that. So, on these side portions here, on the smoking room, it was a gap of four, and then there was the wall. But if you... Um, Excuse me. Um, there's going to be a wall of three there, and then it's the same pattern as it was in the smoking room. is diagonal, and then a window, and then diagonal, and then two windows on a wall of eight, and then diagonal in one, and then a window on top of that. And then coming back in on a diagonal, there's going to be three, and then back three directly, and then there should be your sliding door, and then... That's the exact same on the other side, too. And then there's that. So... That is basically this tutorial. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's that doorway there, and then that doorway and windows there. All right, so in this little rectangle that is going to be eight squared, um, this is on both sides. Um, to the back, you're going to want two, and then a door, and then one, and then there should be a wall there. And then that's the same on both sides. And then going toward the middle, you're going to want three and then a window and then four and then a door and then four and then a window and then three and then that's that so yeah Just let this run out real quick. Oh, oh. Uh. And just fill it up to um, the top or the height.
side of the deck. And then that's all of A deck's major um, sections finished. So yeah. Um Yeah, that's that. So, um, uh, anyways, um, that's the end of this tutorial. This is part five, and I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you didn't find it too tedious, and that's all. Um, goodbye.